Okay, calculation. For written methods, I'd use column method every time. 3, 4, 2 plus 7, 6. Write it down. Make sure the columns there are saying that 2 is the units there, so 6 is the units, so 6 must go under there. 17. Add them up. 6 and 2, 8. 7 and 4 makes 11. That's like put down the 1 for the units and carry the 1 for the 10. 3 and 1 makes 4. Nice thing about column method, you can add lots of numbers together. So if I've got 47.3, and that point determines exactly where the units are, the units must go in this one here. So put point in there, I've got 3.05, that's a 3.05. And 207, that'll be 207 point, so that'll be 207 there. Add them all up. I always like putting zeros after the decimal points if I don't... Um, to make the numbers the same length, it's just easier. Now I can add up the columns. Decimal point must go under decimal point. That'll be five, that'll be three. Seven three is 10 and seven makes 17. So put down a seven and carry the one. Four and one is five and that's two. Just check it looks about right. 207, not 250 odd, 250.35, 7.35. That looks good. That's my addition done. Column method pretty much every time.